Hey, welcome to the 76th edition of the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. We have got a great show for you tonight. Special guest, Fred and Alan. Start the music. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Alive. It's alive. It's alive. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'll make it fun. With your host, Archer. Featuring the sultry sounds of Fred and also Alan on the board. Let's go already! And now, let's start the damn show. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the 76th edition of the... What? <laughs> okay, thank you. Of the Black League Collective Podcast. I knew, it's, you know, sometimes you gotta <laughs> bear it, friend. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like getting a, proctor, <laughs> a prostate exam where you're like... Welcome to the show. Of course, this is going to be a great episode when we start with literally the third word out of my mouth is prostate. Uh, but, you know, what's new? So, <laughs> I'm, of course, your host, Parker, and I am joined by my old buddy, Freddie. And what's Alan going on? Lord. How hey, 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 hey. What's up? What's new? What's going on? How are things in Black Lincoln Collective? Deville, <laughs> it's good. I, I, well, I like it. So my kid asked me on the way to. <laughs> I like it. The roads are oh, like it. Chocolate. Chocolate. The I'm glad made you like it. Candy. It's like Willy Wonka, except you have to pay for everything. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> They're like, we have chocolate, six dollars. Like, we have eggs, fifty three dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, no, so on the way to uh, dropping the one of the or the kids off at school this morning, not a euphemism, Alan. Actually, taking them to this, the educational area that they go to. Uh, my son was like, "Dad, yeah, well, yes." Uh, he's like, "Hey, Dad, uh, what would you name a city or like a country if it was your country? Like, would you call it like Mattsville or what would you call it?" And I was like, you know, I, th- "I had thought about it for a second, you know, driving through traffic." And I was like, well, I think I would call it either like, like Fartsville, USA <laughs> or Pooptopia. And then I was like, then I realized later, I was like, Poopsylvania would make so much more sense. Poopsylvania. Yeah. So what would you Poops. name Fred and Alan, each of you, if you were, if you, if they, <laughs> if they made you president of the country of the country of Fred and the country of Alan, what would you name now, your country? And it could be Fred of Topi, Fredville, or whatever. Just, now where where is this country? At? Wherever you want it to be, wherever they say, you make it up. Wherever the ideal scenario is in your mind, I don't know. See, I like I said, I went for it because I was like, you know what? I wouldn't want to be selfish, right? I would want to like so, name it something that everyone can enjoy. Nah, well, yeah, it's gonna no. be like Fred Acropolis. <laughs> Fred Acropolis. <laughs> Fred Acropolis. <laughs> 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 That'd be funny if it was What about you, Alan? Uh, I don't know. I guess I would name it you know, like Doucheville or something. <laughs> no, you wouldn't want to name it Doucheville. Because <laughs> that wouldn't imply that you're a douche. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I'm not saying you're not a douche. I'm just saying like you don't want to be like, hey, well, I mean, like, I don't know. I guess I, I would I would have used Fartville, but you, you you took Fartville, so Fartville. <laughs> Fartville, but see, no, mine was Fartville, USA, which even though what that means is even if it was a different country, I would still make it Fartville, USA. Yes, uh, United States yeah. of America, just USA at the end. <laughs> so every time they say it, they'd be like, and now welcoming representative from Fartsville, USA. <laughs> exactly, exactly. The extinct dignitary. Yeah, is the, the, highness, the esteemed. <laughs> Foxville, USA. Foxville, USA. I'm like, hey, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name a, I'm named my city after a fart. It's a funny. So I don't I like, know. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know what it's I'd a hard it. question. It's a harder question because you think about it. It's like naming your kids. You know, you got to be like careful with that shit because right. if you come out, come out too hot. And you can come up with a name. <laughs> and you're like, look at this. It's going to be Fucktopia, Fuckville. Uh, like, my kid's name is going to be whatever. Fuck-topia. Alexis with like 
four E's in the beginning or some shit. <laughs> three X's. Yeah. The you're like, X's. you're done, dude. <laughs> you just ruined triple that kid's X's. life. I can't tell you. So, you know, my last, everybody knows my name is Parker. I can't tell you how many people have been like, dude, why didn't you name one of your kids Peter Parker? It's like Spider-Man. No, and man. I'm like, yeah, I know who, first of all, yes, I have <laughs> known who Spider-Man was since I was a child because my name has always been the same as his. Yes. <laughs> Parker. But more importantly, Curse I would Parker. never do that to a kid. Like, no, I couldn't. No, no. I, I even Peter, you went there, Peter? Peter? No, 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 no. Peter no, Parker? Because you know, no, because you know what? It. it would be funny. It, like, it would be really sweet and really cute for, like, three years. Right? <laughs> and, like, the kid would be like, I love Spider-Man. I'm like, yeah, because that's your name. Great. That's your name. You're Peter Until Parker. he started interacting with other people. <laughs> and then they're like, hey, Spider-Man. Hey, Spider Man. Hey, Spider Man. Hey, Spider Man. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, working at the whatever the fucking village. Every time he walks down the hall of school, Spider Man. Spider Man. Exactly, dude. And it's not like, and the thing about it is, like, so when I was growing up, it was one thing because he was kind of an obscure comic book character. Yeah. That it wasn't like everybody in the world didn't know who Spider Man was. It wasn't mainstream. Didn't know, didn't know the name Peter Parker. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but now that there have been what? Seven movies, eight movies, seven, yeah, yeah, seven at least. He's been in. He's he had seven movies, but like then you got the, the Avengers and all that other stuff that he. Right, right. So, but I'm saying, but now there's so yeah. many movies that it's like immediately. Right, Everybody you know what I'm saying. So Peter I'm Parker. happy. That, <laughs> that I'm not going to do that. I'm trying to think <laughs> if there's anybody like what's the most Whitney? Like if you had a daughter named her Whitney. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Which I could. Alan had a, a kid. <laughs> Which you what? He so, which could, I could have. He could have. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of it until just now. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, trying oh, to think shit. of what name is you know the same as. Right. Uh, yeah. I just can't. Yeah. I, said, I just I feel like it would be like in short sighted great idea, hilarious. Well, I did name my uh my my son's middle name is Alan. Yeah, hey, that's a good name. Yeah, so Alan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so you I named him after that. Alan. Alan, no, he didn't like well, I sure hope not. <laughs> but there, there was a, a NBA player named Alan Houston. Who, yeah, Did yeah, Alan Houston Everson Rockets. All right, no, he played with the Celtics. I think. Oh, I think yeah. maybe yeah. maybe Baltimore. I just thought that would be funny. Well, Fred, let me ask you a question, buddy. I uh, yeah. so on the on. <laughs> This is, this is gonna be a dumb question. I'm gonna make myself look like an idiot and just be ready for this because it's gonna so, get. I got. I've been not. So, so this happened. Day? So okay. So yes, but no more so today. So if I had to, okay, Fred, which would you prefer not to happen to you? Oh okay? my god! Mm. Either a being in a super creepy, like abandoned, decrepit, ninety nine percent of the chance haunted house. Yeah. Like by yourself. Right. A, would you like to be that? Or B, would you like to be locked in somewhere by yourself with no way to get out? Because. Like, am I in danger? You don't know. Because you're just <laughs> locked in there and you're just like, oh shit, I'm locked in here now. And Are there's there windows? Like nothing I can do to get out. No. Maybe. No, in this scenario, in this made up scenario, Fred, no windows. Or if there are windows. Wait, did you get locked in up. a porta potty or something? No, but there was there may or may not have been a potty in this in this scenario in this that I'm making up right now. So Fred, which would you prefer? Would you prefer to be in a haunted house or locked in a house that you can't get out of with no windows? For an undisclosed I, I, I take- amount of time. I, I've been locked in a place where I couldn't get out before. And right. I didn't know that about Yeah, you. so I'll yeah. take the haunted house. I'll take the ghost. I'll, take, okay. I'll, I'll fight a ghost. So, what about you, Alan? Uh, I have been married, so I'll take the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, guess what, guys? I may have alluded to it. Both of those things happened to me last week. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, I got locked, you got in, locked into the haunted house. I got house? locked in this in this uh this property like it was a double it's like two-story thing the bottom it's like all abandoned it's old as shit and like i i I went in locked the door you know because i was taking pictures of it for my job and turned around and i was like i should lock the door behind me because i don't want some crazy crackhead (laughs) popping up in here and stabbing me while i'm upstairs doing what i gotta do you know what i'm saying i'd never seen this place in my life and 
So I, you know, locked the door, went upstairs, or went took pictures of this creepy ass place. It does have a bathroom, uh, and which we may or may not get to later. But and then took a shit you know. died working toilet. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. You took a grumpy authorities. Uh, so, but I so saw like I do do what I got to do. Go upstairs, and this place is I, okay. If it's not haunted, like I swear to God, I saw. Uh, it. I'll put a picture up as the the show picture. Uh, if it's not haunted, I've never seen fucking something that's been haunted in my entire life. This was like, I walked into fucking every horror movie ever. Yeah. It was like, <laughs> there's like one chair in the middle of the room. Why'd you go in there? Because I had to do my job. Uh-oh. So the upstairs was, I guess, like an abandoned, like the, the oh, whole, it was just fun. So who do so you I work for, the Ghostbusters? Yes, yeah. I do work for the Ghostbusters. <laughs> yes. I was about to tell you that, Alan. I was the fifth Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> I was the one that, that I went on the first mission, got locked in the building and killed, and they never talked about me. You were the one with the red shirt. He had the red shirt. The, red shirt Ghostbusters exactly. the city would have shut him down if they'd have found out about you. <laughs> They're like, he's he was our intern, so it's cool. They'd have never got their business license. Right, exactly. No one would have left them bust shit. <laughs> So I go up here and like I said, this place is haunted as shit. And like, so one of one of the things I you know I do is take pictures and stuff. So taking pictures of it, I have to walk through it. There's like debris everywhere. Yeah. Shit, it's just terrible. Like I said, you have to see the picture. When you see the picture, you'll be like, holy shit. <laughs> so go take my pictures, and I go back downstairs. And I'm like, oh man, like you know, I really gotta use the restroom. And so I'm like, okay, well, whatever. I'll just go out of here and go to the you know we're like right beside whatever. So. Go to open the door, and I swear to God, dude, it was like a fucking comic book or a, like a cartoon. I yeah. go to turn the knob or like turn the, the lock, you know, and when I turn the lock, the whole damn thing falls out. <laughs> Just fell entirely out, like the whole piece, but only the piece that was on my side of it. Right. Yeah. So, like, I'm standing there, and I'm like holding the thing in my hand, you know, you can see my hand on YouTube. I'm just like, shit. What am I going to do? Like, what can I do? <laughs> I try to put the thing back in. Nothing does nothing. And then I'm like, okay, now I really do have to use the restroom quite a bit because it's been you a few minutes of me like. Steven Seagal that door, man. Well, so, well dude, I, I don't own them. You I would have to pay lock me. Yeah, you can't lock me in here. Lock me in here. <laughs> Just kick it down. <laughs> I find it. Yeah. You know, you know actually, fighting. that has happened. Fighting. That has happened to Parker before. Yeah. <laughs> It happened to us in that in, in our old house. You remember forty main in the, in the bathroom? House. Got we, we <laughs> the lock was broken in the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, dude! <laughs> you can only open it from the outside. Yeah, we had a doorknob, so we had this doorknob, and I'll get back to the story in a second. But we had this doorknob, <laughs> and like it was the screw, like the pin screw, you know, that holds it together. Yeah. Was loose, was really old, but it would like you could put it on there, and you couldn't tell because it was really, like I said, it was heavy as hell, so it was really old. So what yeah. we used to do. <laughs> we would prank each other by putting the side that would fall off on the, <laughs> on the either inside. on the interior or the exterior, depending on how you know what to prank them. Usually on the interior, yeah. and then we would wait till somebody went to the bathroom. <laughs> we do it like it like like a minute, like so we know that they're like they're pooping, they're doing their business. You know, right. all of a sudden someone would come and just yank the damn thing out. So <laughs> the person sitting would see because the poop you, you, when you're sitting there, you're looking right at the door. So all they would see is the door just drop. <laughs> <Just drop. laughs> <laughs> but so we would do this whenever we had somebody over. If they went to the restroom, honestly, yeah. like, this is for years. This went on. We were, <laughs> and you could have just screwed it back in, but that was that would be too much work. No, 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 we never fun. honestly. I never even thought about that. No, it's out of the question. I know that's how it worked. So for years, people would come over and it would happen over and over. And we would like put stuff. So like, like it was like our own demented pooping version of Saul. Like we would put stuff in the room that they could use in a MacGyverly fashion <laughs> to, to get it open. escape. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, to get out. And if they got out, we're like, hey, all right, you did it. You know, and like, good job. And, but if not, eventually we would, you know. Then we had parties, we'd hear cook, 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 cook. <laughs> and parties we would never you know, eventually let them out because then it would be a whole other thing right. but yeah oh dude we used to do that shit all the time we used to do such stupid stuff there but <laughs> we, it was fun though that was something that that's pretty funny it was a good prank and like yeah. see, that's a good harmless prank fred right good harmless prank nobody that's gets hurt we give you a puzzle to solve. This is before yeah. this is, you know, Fred Allen. Full I'm gonna say rooms. this. I think we just we invented escape rooms. Yeah, we did. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> just Black like you collect them in, in escape rooms. <laughs> yep. In 19, uh, the year 1999. Yeah. <laughs> Suck it up, America. That's right. That's you right. Shit or you can get out. out. Right. Yeah. If you want to take you, a shit, you just had to deal with it. You had to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't time it, though. Maybe that's where they got us because we didn't time it. But so anyway, so I'm in this room. I'm in this building. And yeah, I'm like, I got to I gotta do what I got to do. You know, and there's a restroom. And I'm like, eh, 50-50 chance the water's on. And so... <laughs> You know, I've, I, there's no water in the toilet, so I hit the thingy, and it's like, filled up. And I'm like, all right, I'm in, baby. Did it. Did my business, and was like, all right, let's see what happens. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nope. had, so I had one in the t- Yeah, had one in the chamber, <laughs> but it would have been a dry deal, you know? So uh, it had to, it, it, there's no choice. And uh, that's why I was like, so finally I called, like, my, my, some of my coworkers, and I'm like, dude, you guys got to, like, you gotta come help me. I can't yeah, do anything. Bring me a bucket of water. Well, no, I'm no, I didn't care about that. I was like, <laughs> get me out of this fucking building because there's a goddamn doll, baby doll up there, possibly that I didn't see, just waiting. And it's been waiting on me the whole time. <laughs> so just like, oh, hello, let's play together. No. <laughs> That'd be more no. like Chucky. I called my wife and I was like, if I don't come home, this fucking doll or some shit <laughs> took me out. Just be warned. And she's like, send me a picture of where you're at. And then I did. And of course, she has met my wife. And yeah. she's like, you're dead. <laughs> she's like, you're done. I was like, you got to be kidding me. She's like, no, you're fucking dead. Bye. You're it was dead. nice knowing you. Uh, <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be her next time she comes on. That'll be the story. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that was the whole story. story. She was like, tell me what happened. She's like, send me a picture. I was like, okay. And I sent her a picture. She's like, you're going to die there. So love you. <laughs> and that was it. And that was the end of the story. She's like, text me if if you get out. If you get out, not when I get out, mm. if I get out. <laughs> so, if you get out. so there's another door, but someone was smart enough to drill a two by four into the floor right there so that no one could possibly open it. Uh, so great, right? Yeah. Finally, I get I get my work folks to come to come to my rescue, and they're like, "What what can we do? What can we do?" And I'm like, "I don't know." Here, I'm going to slide the key under the door, right? Yeah. So I slide the key under the door. They try it because I'm like, okay, well, maybe if they have the key out on the out the exterior, it'll just pop yeah. this thing open, right? No big deal. No, it does not. I'm still, and now I'm like, okay, we're in this small, like, little town. Yeah. I don't know anybody here. And I'm like, I don't even know. I didn't even think about, like, oh, just Google a locksmith, whatever, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the guy, well, dude, what are you supposed to do? I'm trapped. He locks everything in the Jimmy, show. <laughs> Jimmy's well, so a local thankfully, locksmith. Thankfully, oh, actually, you're in the place. old Johnson house. I'm thankfully, not anywhere near that like, place. Right up the road. Yeah, exactly. He's like, we lost too many in there. Like, I'll call old man Johnson to go clean up the mess in, in a week yeah. or so. <laughs> but so we, his grandson. <laughs> <laughs> like, just as long as he doesn't go upstairs, he'll be fine. Just tell him that. Like, if he, poop, shit in, that if he poops in there, it's over, man. They got the poop ghost. The uh, was oh, I can't remember poop what it's called. Ghost. Or whatever. The chick chipsa is a Japanese toilet ghost. I believe. <laughs> so that shit's haunted by a chipsa. That can be uh, dogma, the, the shit monster. Yeah, the gold. Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, they the guys like there's a guy with him from who lived in the area, and he's like, I got a guy. And I'm like, all right, this is gonna. <laughs> So a few more minutes go by, like guy comes over and the locksmith is a locksmith, okay, but he didn't bring any tools. <laughs> he didn't bring one fucking screwdriver or anything. Yeah, and I was like, he's just like walking. Yeah, he's just like walking over here. I don't see a he doesn't have a tool belt on, he doesn't have yeah. anything in his hands. Like he's how is he a locksmith? <laughs> and like it just doesn't make sense. And like he comes over and he like looks at the thing and he's like, locked in. <laughs> <laughs> yep, pretty much uh he's like all right hold on a second and he like grabs the fucking door this glass door yeah. and like starts shaking the shit out of it <laughs> like shaking it like like violently shaking it right. i step back like i was already yeah. a few steps back and i was like no oh, one more step back <laughs> and like all of a sudden it's like the yeah. door opens right up and he's like look at that I'm just gonna get them a little bit. That'll like, be two hundred dollars. Oh, I don't know how much you charge me. I, and I, well, I was like, okay, uh, and that's why I was like, well, just you know, whatever. Pay my company. He's like, nah. 
I'll call the guy because he knows yeah. the guy who owns the building. He's like, I'll call them. I'll take care of this. And I was like, all right, man. Like, but yeah, it scared the shit out of me, dude. And like, seriously, I, when you see this picture, it's yeah. going to get you. You're going to be like, whoa, that shit is haunted as fuck. Like, Hold on a second. I want to pull it up. Pad for me, friend. Tell me about th- uh, something. How so, do you react to that story? Well, it sounds like you were about to be involved in the new Scooby Doo series on HBO Max starring <laughs> Mindy Kaling. There you go. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh. I haven't watched that. Have you watched that? No, I have not. Okay. I know it's. I don't want to. I don't want to see it. All right. So here, I'm gonna uh, show you, Alan. If you can put this on screen All right, for the viewers at home, this is the room in the middle of the oh, day. Oh man, yeah. Look at what a chair. Yeah. A chair. I didn't touch anything. And I was like, look at this. This is where I'm going to die. And that's where I said, that's, that's, that's a beautiful wife. photograph, though, man. Well, of course. Like, it is. Like, I like blogger. the lighting in it. It's but, yeah, the lighting is that that you see right before you fucking die. There's where I put it. Right there. In the oh, corner. man. <laughs> now, that doesn't look like some fucking Jeffrey Dahmer shit. I don't even know what is. Yeah, that's straight up uh, 1970s. Tell me, tell me you don't expect that. See, like, you can see where the thing's in front of the door. Like I said, this is all adding up, Fred. Yeah. Not, I didn't embellish that at all because how could I have embellished such a fucking terrible story? <laughs> like I'm telling you, dude, it was. And then they're like, "Yeah, there was." I, I told them afterwards. I told my work, like, "Hey, yeah." So I, I told him what happened because I was like, "Yeah, I had to poop in there." And they're like, "Should we tell the guy?" And I'm like, "We'll figure it out." <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll figure it out. There's I would, I would a place like that. Like, it, it, it kind of made it. It was creepy to. I had to. I had to do a locate at a uh, like abandoned. Um, uh, what do you call it? Where they slaughter the cows and shit. Okay, you know? I was gonna say like slaughterhouse, a, like a, a packing plant. That's what they call a meat okay, packing okay. plant. And I'm saying it's a little small one. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, a little yeah. country town. But it shut down. And it's been abandoned for like years, and I had to go out there. And I was like, oh man, I just want to walk around. And look at that shit. Was creepy though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like dude, I didn't get locked in, in, but like I was tiptoeing around and. Like, you know, you know I mean, there's souls of dead animals all over that motherfucker. Yeah, like, man. He's <laughs> like, like what's all of a sudden you hear moo. You're just like what's walking in here. Spain where they, the, the run of the bull. If you like the run yeah. of the ghost bull, yeah. ghost bulls are chasing. <laughs> I like the idea that a ghost cow still says moo, though, because it's a mix of moo and what cows actually <laughs> say. <Yeah. laughs> I like the idea, like, it's a ghost cow. How do you know? Because it said, yeah. moo, 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 <laughs> moo. Which what, <laughs> what should I do? I don't know. Funny here. Okay. But yeah, no. So yeah, it's creepy, dude. Like that old abandoned architecture shit. My sister yeah. used to do that where she'd be like, we're going. Because like here in South Carolina, we talked a few weeks ago about the history of ketchup. And it's similar to that in that we had a lot of sanitariums and like asylums. Yeah. And yeah. like they were bad places. Yeah. And like they all got like or the majority of them got shut down. Right. But so my sister used to always do that. She'd be like, we're going at like 2 a.m. to the abandoned mm-hmm. asylum. To walk around and well, i'm like you fucking won't see me there yeah i ain't going. ever they Watch do that movies. shit man they people, do that shit oh they do that shit all the time people That's do that crazy. shit dude you know who does that shit though fred right yep <laughs> i'm not like, saying it <laughs> yeah i'm saying it. i'll say it like right now white people like yeah. and that's why i was like nope no because they think so white people think they're invincible yeah <laughs> they think some evil juju can't hit them no. they're wrong yeah. all right Mm-mm. Don't fuck with that. Remember, right. when Alan, we had that old room at speaking of Forty Main, where we talked about earlier. And yeah, the we secret room. Ourselves. Well, we had the secret room, but we also had the the room in the front that whoever stayed in it for like four years, man, like whoever slept in that room, like it was their room, got sick as shit and stayed yes. sick. Really, the entire yes. time they were in that room. Yep. I don't know if it was a mold issue or what. No, I didn't think of that yeah. as being a thing. I just thought that shit was haunted. <laughs> and so when it and it was the biggest room in the house, and so when it, there were opportunities Most for me to logically, get it, logically that room had a <laughs> yeah, like, problem. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah. Well, now that I again, we were young. I was like nineteen twenty. You don't think about that stuff yeah. at that age. Like that doesn't make sense. No. But like, I mean, but old ghost house, do. But ghost nah, do. Nah, but yeah, the, the yeah, secret room, do. man. You you had to be careful in the secret. I didn't room. go in that fucking room ever. I the never secret room, room was, yeah. That the room secret behind room. the stairwell. Oh yeah, upstairs, you had to go yeah. over the stairs to get to. Yeah, dude. And like, I don't fuck with that shit, Fred. I'm telling you, dude. My sensibilities are that of like yeah, not the, the guy who room, dies man. first. You didn't want to go in the secret right. room. Dude, I didn't want to go yeah. to any of that stuff. But people are always like, "Let's go." And I'm like, "Let's go to the secret room." Yeah, yeah they got the shit. secret room, and then the house would shake and shit. Yeah, goddamn it, get out of the secret room. Got in the secret room. You hear people. You hear people walking up and down stairs all the time in that house. 
nobody home. No, like, yeah. I, I'd be home. I was the only one. I worked third shift. Everybody else. So during the day, I'd hear people. I'd be like, "Who the fuck's home?" You look outside. Nobody. I'd be like, well, mm-hmm. "Yeah, they'd be going up and down the stairs." Later. Two o'clock in the morning. Go, 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 no, go, 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 go. no, I would. Oh yeah. No, I didn't give a shit. I was like, "Cool, what's up, man?" Like, yeah, we exactly. Like, I, Most I of the time, to, we were like, "Talk to the ghost." We we're like, "It's cool." Like, listen, I'm not gonna fuck with you. You don't fuck with me, and it was cool. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's how you had to do it though. Like, yeah, you gotta talk to that shit. No, I'm not doing it. I've seen. I mean, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't first. like me too much. He what was, was that movie when, with uh, when I walked in and the pictures fell? Yeah, yeah, all the pictures <laughs> fell when I walked yeah, in. It wouldn't just happen, man. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what, what was that movie with uh, Nicole Kidman? The others. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was always my thinking: is like maybe they think we're the ghost. Yeah. So I like, <laughs> yeah, I invented that shit too because that was before that came out. Yeah. And so I would be like, listen up, ghost. Like, we're cool, man. Like, you just, yeah. you do you. I'll yeah. do me. Yeah. I'm not going to, I'm going to pretend you don't exist. Don't fuck with me. Yeah. It was like, we won't go in the secret yeah. room and yeah. you can don't do whatever anywhere. you want. Don't do, and don't, like I said, I'd never be like, or sometimes I'd be like, what's up, ghost? But then I would, I would say that in my head, but I yeah. couldn't say it out loud because I'm like, that shit's going to pop up like yeah, yeah, yeah. John mm-hmm. Adams. Yep. <laughs> and then we couldn't go in the and, and then we couldn't like, go in that back room in the back room the one with the st- st- stairs we couldn't go in there either yeah, you just really. could walk in and just go through it it was only couldn't. to go through if you stayed in yeah. it the if windows you stayed in, yeah the windows shake. would start shaking yeah dude it was fucked Jeez. up it was crazy yeah. it was crazy it was great good times yeah we worked no. around it yeah you yeah, y'all you didn't tell it. none of us that shit while we was coming over to visit this shit why you need to know cause you don't know you don't need to mess with that ghost Nah, you guys were fine because you guys <laughs> were in the living room. So it, as long yeah, as we had everybody in the living room, we were fine. It was yeah. like you didn't have to worry about it. Anyway, so needless to say, Fred, mm. strapped and a pooped. It's good time. <laughs> it's good times, Fred. So <laughs> all right, well, you pooped. I, I, I trapped and I pooped. So we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back on the other side. Oh, thank you for listening to Pop Culture Bros. Uh, follow us on BLC Podcast on Facebook and Twitter at BLC World. And TikTok. all the shit. We are a top 50,000 podcast lately. <laughs> yes. <laughs> top 50,000. We're way higher than that. We're way, we're way up in there, baby. Well, there's 5 million podcasts and we're number. We're in the top 50,000. Hey. We're in the top, like, I don't know. I think we're in the top 20. I'll take that. No, we're the best. We're the best oh, yeah. in the. We're the best. We're the we're, best. We're the number one. We're the brightest. Twenty-four thousand seven hundred and fifty. <laughs> <laughs> world. For leisure. For leisure. For leisure. For leisure. For leisure. For leisure. We're in leisure mode for all the time, baby. Leisure. So we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back with more of Blackling Collective podcast featuring Alan's movie reviews. We yes. got these at the beginning of the show. Yeah, you should have. You slacker. <laughs> Welcome back to the 76th edition of the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, don't what what? Oh no. Kanye's no, not I'll, I'll, you know, <laughs> got a fly. No, Kanye's up there. Oh, yeah, I saw Kanye the, up there. I didn't want to Kanye look looking him up. down at you. It's creeping me out. It's creeping me out yesterday, too. So so guys, uh, it's, Kanye it's, descending. Huh? No, he, he, tell me he, that's he, a, that, that might just be the name of the show tonight. Hey, can you just the worst best joke you've ever told? So, for speaking of the best and the worst, but no, just the best, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. And Alan should have music for this, but we'll see. We'll wait for it. Quiet. Oh, wait. He has all the music. Is this what we did for Alan's movie reviews? Yes, for Alan's movie music. This is the music? Okay. Hey, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Fred, it's time for Alan's movie reviews. Yay! So Alan, tell us what you're reviewifying this week. Well, the movie I'm doing this week is called. You didn't, you didn't turn the thing on that says your name. It says oh like yeah. Okay. Review. Hold on. Hold on. Production value is gone to shit lately, Fred. Well, when it's, it for me, there too. It when it's for me, it, I'm not gonna. Read it. You should be yeah. more. You should do it more for you. Yeah. You gotta advocate for yourself, Alan. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's Alan's life. movie reviews, there brought to you go. by. Bang Bros, the same people who sponsor Fred's News. <laughs> you want to bang? Like, Go to Bang they're Bros. Like, they're like, if you can make it, we Are you a bro? It. You like to bang? <laughs> Are you a bro? Do you we like should, to this bang? This one should be Bang Bros. Bang Bros. Bang bros. <laughs> I don't know. What, you can take it either way. It's for ladies and men. Yes. What bang like bros. It's Jerk made by... Well, bang, bros. bang Bros is the white you know version. What? 
Hey, yeah. bro. Hey, bro. That's not my <laughs> thing to decide, Fred. Hey, I'm not the bros. one who decides what Bang hey. Bros is to you. It's a Bang Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Make it your own. That's what I say. <laughs> All right. So, Alan, what is the name of Alan's excellent well, movie the, of the week? The, the movie of the week is called The Velocipaster. Ladies and gentlemen, the Velocipaster. It's okay. the, the, the Velocipaster. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. This movie is fucking awesome. Awesome. Let me give a synopsis. Can I give you a synopsis of the movie? Yes, of course. So, okay. So, ladies ladies and gentlemen, we have to tell you all three of us have seen this movie. Some of us have seen it more than others. Yes. (laughs) I'm not one of the ones who've seen it more than other people. So, I I did watch it and I had to, I kind of put some, we, you know, we got some stuff together. So, Velocipaster is. the Velocipaster is the unlikely story of a mole encrusted priest who teams up with a very conservative prostitute slash lawyer to vanquish crime and avenge the death of his parents. She was a lawyer? She was a prostitute and a lawyer at different times. She wanted to go to school for lawyer. She wanted to go to school to be a lawyer. Right. right. That's what she was aspiring doing. lawyer. She was right. an aspiring lawyer. The prostitute slash, slash prostitute. Lawyer. So <laughs> Okay, so tell us a little bit about this movie. Tell you have to you have to sell it to the people at home. Oh, I, dude, it sells this itself. movie. I'm telling you, <laughs> end of show. It sells itself. And, 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 I, it's basically it starts off with um, a guy. He's a he's a pastor, and he's very moly. <laughs> yes, and his parents were killed by Frankie Mermaid. Frankie Mermaid. Yeah, Frankie Mermaid. <laughs> Frankie Mermaid. <laughs> Frankie Mermaid. Yeah. Frankie no, Mermaid yeah, killed. Right. Yeah. Frankie Mermaid. Yeah. He, he, he killed. He was he taken killed. too soon. Yes. Who was, was a pimp? Yeah, he was a pimp. Frankie the, Frankie the mermaid. pimp mermaid. Yeah, Frankie the pimp mermaid. <laughs> I was Frankie interested. mermaid. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and so real quick, spoiler alerts for everybody listening. If you haven't seen the Velocipaster, Pastor, pause that episode right now. Right yes. now, yeah. At thirty four minutes or whatever. And go watch the Velocipaster yes. for the next two hours. Yeah, because we're about to spoil right. the shit out of it. And yeah, oh, we yes. have to spoil it to ex- to appreciate it. Yeah. So yes. Frankie Mermaid, so spoiler alert, you know, whatever. Stop. Yeah, Frankie Mermaid kills uh the yeah. Velocipaster. Well, kills the, the pastor. He's not a yeah, Frankie Mermaid was one of the few characters in this movie early on that I was like, like, this guy, I want to see where a story goes. This guy gets it. Yeah, I was like, this guy, <laughs> me and this guy. Yeah. Ah. Yep. So, so after his goes up. Yep. And he kills it. He kills the, the 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 it's actually a Catholic priest, but they call him. Yeah, he's, a, <laughs> he's, he's a, a priest. He's a priest, but you know, right, we'll, we'll go with that. Philosopher and wanna be past. So when <laughs> that, when that happens, priest. he uh he loses his religion in a way. Right. And yeah. he travels to China. <laughs> right. So Frank, you yeah. Yes. He said yes. China. <laughs> he travels to China. 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 <laughs> China. It's like he tra- China is east, is what. Yes. He, yeah. he, well, that's where he went. He went to China and then said, it, some really chick easy. was running around with a rock. No, she had a, a, a like a, Did you have a bow and arrow or some shit? No, no, it was a raptor claw. A raptor oh, claw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a raptor claw. And the raptor claw cuts the dude and <laughs> he turns into the Velocipaster. And then, and, who is and what he does says, is basically he just kills bad people. Yeah, right. Well, who is it that says, "What did that Chinese say to you?" <laughs> that was definitely said in that movie. And I yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> what, who was that? The older pastor, right? Is the one who said that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he, yeah. he comes back. You know, he comes yeah, back. yeah, yeah. He, he came back. He, he, but he it, come- it was so funny though, like. When he went to China, like yeah, he was like, driving. First of all, he drove to he China. He drove to China, <laughs> yeah. And then, and then when he got to China, it looked like a, a hills in California somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked like my backyard, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was in the woods, and they just yeah. said, China. China, <laughs> yeah. Let us the board, man. <laughs> That shit correct me. I was like, oh, oh well, God. I know where he, And then what is it? He says China is east, right? He actually Yeah, he's that. like, China, he's looking at his conference and says, yeah. China really yeah. is east. Like, oh, <laughs> so one thing I will say about the Velocipaster, I didn't realize the classification of it initially. It is classified as a comedy slash action movie. Okay, yeah. So yeah. 
I didn't get, I didn't actually notice any real true jokes in it. What are you talking but, about? No, but the, it was just things like that. The right. It was just like it was, right. saying you know, China and then. Right. And that's where the comedy came in. And I, you know, I in the beginning like of it, writing. they show the parents, they're supposed to be burning up and they put <laughs> yeah. visual effects insert <laughs> here. That was you know? <laughs> It's just that an empty awesome. parking lot. <laughs> and they cut back yeah. and forth and he's like, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, you're right. Visual effects. Yeah, it's just the empty here. parking space. <laughs> <laughs> it was just an empty parking spot, and then they show Frankie Marshall. Yeah. Frankie Mermaid. Frankie Mermaid. That's Frankie right. Frankie Mermaid. Thank you too soon. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. yeah. So Basically, funny. what he does is he wakes up. He 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 comes back to to the states, and he's starting to have nightmares. Right. And he wakes up in the nightmares and starts running into the forest. And the next thing he know, you know the, the oh, what was her name, the prostitute lawyer. Yeah. I don't know, Single right? female lawyer, prostitute, yeah. whatever, oh, yeah. having lots of lots sex. Of sex. <laughs> <laughs> but, so then it leads us into this: the best, probably one of the best karate priest massage uh, montages I've ever seen. Yes, <laughs> like working out, kicking ass. That's yes, right. Plato's legs, preaching, yeah. reading a book about dinosaurs. Yes, Jesus, he does. love. <laughs> Because yeah. like, he's like teaching her the girl. Remember, he saves her from Frankie. Right. Mother. Yeah. He's like he teaching her how him. to be about Jesus, and and like learning about dinosaurs at the same time. Yeah. And, I, and then he finds out that the uh, Frankie uh, mermaid killed the parents, and that's when he goes after right. him. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> Frankie came in the confessional. Oh, that's right. Frankie. Yeah, came, he turned into the velociraptor. Came after. The it was like, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, like, went through the yeah. Line, yeah. <laughs> And then, okay, you guys got to imagine how he looked as a velociraptor. You know them suits, them dinosaur oh, yeah. suits that fill up with air. You'll have to see. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, uh, no, I, I, yeah, no. Once you, you can't, I don't want to spoil that. No, no, we can't show okay. him a picture. Of that, Let me just say this. Yeah, the Velocipaster, when you see him in his full in full light, is a sight to behold. It is impressive. Yes. <laughs> it is memorable. It. It may change your life. Yep. Like, if I'm being honest. So watch, and that's what I, see, that's the thing. We don't want to ruin. We don't want to give away too much, right? No. And that's no. like a, that's a pretty epic moment in the sh- in the movie, and it's like yeah, when it has of, yeah, the, things when, change when, once you see yeah, once you see the yeah, yeah. <laughs> the dinosaur looks like. yeah, when it, <laughs> <laughs> once you see the Velocipaster, the so, yes, I okay. So it's been a little while since, since I saw this movie, so I took some notes. And I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to read this note. And you tell me what I'm talking about. Because I don't okay. remember this. I said, Father Jones looks like the lead singer from System of a Down. He does. Is he <laughs> the guy? He, yeah. he was like, oh, yeah. He, uh, yeah, Father Jones is the one that takes him to the other dude. So right. he can do an exorcism on him. And he turns right. into the Velocipaster yeah. right. right. yeah. again. Yeah. I was like, that dude looks just like the guy from System of a Down. And th- doesn't he kill Father Jones? No, he, he, he like cut him though. Yeah, he cut him. That's he right. He cut, cut him. him. Yeah, and he then cut he told him. him the story about when he was in Vietnam. And and he, that's the chair of my chair. And he was in Vietnam, Vietnam with his girlfriend. <laughs> and his girlfriend shows up to Vietnam and she gets blown up by a landmine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like fighting the war with all the dudes who are wearing different uniforms. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He's talking to his together. best friend. He was smoking a cigarette. He gets blown up by a landmine. Yeah. He's smoking a cigarette. He wasn't even yeah. moving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden, like his girlfriend shows up, and I was like, he was like "When really I get like... back, you name one of them kids after me." Yeah. 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 And, then <laughs> like... and then his girlfriend's like, "Ah, I got you!" And she boom, she blows up. <laughs> that was so funny, dude. Even Vietnam don't like my backyard. Yeah. I don't even, yeah, yeah. Going. yeah. <laughs> Like, oh shit, and this is Vietnam right on the screen. That's yeah. how we know. Like I said, it is the greatest movie. It's, it's great not the greatest movie, movie no. ever. It's not my number one. Well, now, so go ahead. 36 buddy. grand. Is that what that cost? 36 grand. Yes. Well, I feel like it made a million at least. I hope. <laughs> it, I mean, shit, it got what? Uh, five 
It got five, five thousand stars. Five stars or some shit like that. Five yeah, out of ten. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, five yeah. out of ten. Okay, five out yeah. of. I was like, five stars. Like, come on. No, no, not a five out of five. No. I mean, I gave it. I gave it four point five out of five. Sure, which is a, a valid, totally. Valid. Yeah, it's Alan so, stars. Yeah. And then, Fred, what was it? What was the movie we reviewed last? Snakes on a train, right? Snakes on a train. Yeah. Where it was like at the one hour mark. Remember that I remember this for the rest yeah. of my life for some reason. The one hour mark is almost exactly is when we see that titty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The titty at the one hour. So Just after, had no titty. No, but it did have the most non sexually like sexy sex scene I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it did. And you it know, at like, the begin at the beginning of the movie, she had a big old ass on her. Yes, but then she at did. the end. It was all flat. It was yeah. all it was flat. Like that's See, what you want that was the thing. That's because when I he tapped it, movie. when he tapped it, it burnt. Yeah, I started that movie and I was like, what is this bullshit? And, yeah. <laughs> and then I saw that booty and I was like, okay, I'll give like, it to you. All right, I'm in. Yeah, because I saw it. I was like, man, that's thing. a big ass booty on her. We so tiny. Well, and, like, and the thing about it was, it looked like it was the beginning of like Parks and Rec. Like the way they shot the sex scene, yes, it was like it been like mixed with like a '90s music video, yeah, but with yeah. a lot of hand holding, which is really weird. Yeah, it was <laughs> there was a lot of hand holding in that sex scene. I was just like, okay, I get it's too it. much hand holding. I'm yep. into it. And maybe that's how they do it. Prostitute, because yep. like it's a prostitute and a priest, Fred. So you got to meet. Yeah, like, that's you know, right. Not gonna, you know? yeah. We can't do this again. Yeah. <laughs> and he had his tiny whiteies. <laughs> Yeah, and then they were fighting in the room. Then they then common thing with uh snakes on a train. A lot of tiny yep. whiteies in this movie. Yep. And, and it's like she beat up ninjas. Yeah, because yeah. ninjas, oh, yeah. were, looking the, ninjas, ninjas. ninjas <laughs> were looking for the raptor thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh so they went after yeah, I didn't them. understand again, yeah, ninjas, yeah, because it was taken the, so the people who were chasing that lady in the beginning right. then realized the where claim. he was. Yeah. yeah, when they figured out who he was, then they went after them again. Yeah, then they came after him. Right. So like all of a sudden. Now, right after that sex scene, you're like, is this the end of the movie? <laughs> like, here we go. Oh no, and, then, ever after. and the word China yeah. kept popping up. Nope. That's when the that's when the movie started. Yeah. yeah. The that's, well, that's the thing about it is. Because he, he started wearing he started wearing the leather jacket. Out, it was like an organization that was trying to push Christianity or right. Catholicism. Right. He was on their side. On the nation, the you know what I'm yes. saying? On the well, world, so, you know what I'm saying? They were trying to take over the world. It was like the evil council. Religion. Right, yeah. and drugs, religion and drugs. It was religion and drugs, that's right. Yeah. And he's yeah. come out. What about the song he wrote? Or that he was like, the song was called I Didn't Even Have Time to Think. Remember that song? <laughs> no. and like The whole damn time he was playing, he was just writing, thinking about stuff, sitting down. While he was like, after he realized he was like giving up his religion. You know, I'm talking yeah. about well, that's when he was like, the song is that when like, he was driving? Well, you know, he was just sitting thinking about stuff, and the song was just kept saying, I don't didn't even have time to think. And I'm like, it's three minutes of him sitting, watching, <laughs> thinking about stuff. Yep, then he had this to fight his brother, which again, which again, under the lens of like comedy, hilarious, right? Yeah, yep. then he started yeah, had to then, fight his brother that was blood and blue and, eyes. Yeah, <laughs> but why did Doug have nunchucks? That's what I need to like because he was ninja. But he was just like, I mean, Doug. Like, <laughs> it was just so random that like everyone. That's the thing that the movie takes such a hard left turn into like a ninja movie. Right. It's awesome. But see, I think another thing that might shed some light on this movie is: Did you realize that it was set in the in the seventies? Yes. No, I did not realize. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all the cars and no, stuff were in the seventies. Yeah, it was. It was no, set in the seventies. No. Yeah, it was his parents, but but like, then he grew up. He was a kid then, and then he grew up. So no, was, because the car, he drove. A, I think it was a, like a Ford Escort or something. He was driving. Yeah, he I was thought a his priest. parents. When his parents, oh yeah, when his parents died. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he was given a sermon when his parents died, and then like uh, <laughs> <laughs> mermaid. He was like a pimp. You know yeah, he like was a pimp, pimp in the seventies. You know yeah, I mean? he was a seventies pimp. You know yeah. what I mean? With the fur coats and the big hat. You know. Yeah. 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 Dude, it was great. I it was one of this shit is set in the seventies, dude. Yeah, yo, it's, it was it was even, very entertaining. That, I'll give it to you. Like I said, it, it started out and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" But like with my humor, my kind of comedy, that right. that just slid right. They in set it up house. for like a lot of sequels too. Yeah, like multiple sequels. Yeah, I mean, just get your hand on thirty six grand. Give him credit. We can make it. We can make it for it. Yeah. 
So what was it? What was the uh, award that we could get nominated for? Was it a Golden Globe? It was like four hundred bucks to get nominated yeah. for. You yeah, remember? for uh, yeah, Golden Globe. I would like to start our Patreon. Okay, listen to listen to this. All right, and I don't even know when did Velocipaster come out in like twenty twenty one? No, I think it was thirteen, maybe. No, no, twenty. Uh, no, it's no, dude. It was no, twenty eighteen. It was eighteen. Yeah. Okay. 2017, yeah. 2017, 2018. So, yeah, you got to, like, I think we should nominate it for a Colton Globe. I think we should, everybody we should. on our Patreon, we should. I think get us the 400 bucks. It's got a start 4.8 our rating. our own award show. We should. Oh, the, We should do I, our own award show, the Black Link Collective we can't just call award the show. The, no, we can't call okay. it the Black <laughs> 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 what the fuck, man? I thought that was a good name for a show. I'm sorry, not a racist thing. I can just call her it's Party Fred. No, you can call it the Linkies, or and you something. would win every one. <laughs> so, yeah, I would love to do that. We should nominate, like, yeah. every year we should nominate. But see, that's the only problem is I don't watch enough movies now. Like I only watch these. Like I only watch Lost Pastor because yeah. of the reviews and because Alan insisted that I watch it. Oh yes, I'm glad I did. I don't make no mistake, and I'm glad I watched Snakes on a Train too. Uh, great movies. Yeah. But nonetheless, yeah. Well, Very Very so uh, Freddie, what what do you give it? I give it. I give it three and a half stars. Three out of three five. Half, three and a half out of three five. Out of, out of five. Yeah. What would you have changed to make it better? I'd have put some more money into it, but. Now, nah, Freddie was like, I put some boobies in it. If you had yeah, boobies in it, a titty in there for real. A two, I thought you would I at least two titty, one well, titty. And like again, yeah, and that really is what kind of cemented Snakes on a Train as like a BLC movie classic. That's right. That titty. Because like it's like well, <laughs> that's that right. That one titty. <laughs> that makes that a difference titty, though. Do you? Yeah, that one titty. Do you? <laughs> that's no. why movies in the eighties were like yeah. so much better. Right. The movies in like the nineties and, and beyond. Like, well, because there was all it could be any movie. It could yeah, be if, like it had, movie. if it had if it had a titty in it, I, I would have given almost it a, all movies in the eighties yeah, straight five. <laughs> I would have given it a straight five. Yeah, I give it. Yeah, a, there you go. I mean, it's there in my top. It, it, it actually is because you're like. Burr, 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 burr. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It'd be like a. Uh, show me a booby. <laughs> yeah. Velocipaster. Show me a so yeah i give it a four out of five like i said watching it it's one of those movies that like it's okay so like when i watched zoolander the first time right i was like that movie was not that great like i was like it was fine whatever sort of funny whatever and then i went back and watched it a second time and when i watched it the second time I was like, that shit is hilarious. <laughs> and I feel like Velocipaster is going to be the equivalent. Like, when I go back to watch it again, yeah, I'm going to appreciate it so much more. Because you guys both watched it twice, right? Yeah. Yes. I did yeah. I, twice. And I, I think that, and, and would you say the second viewing was more enjoyable than the first? It yes. was, because I had a person, like, who hadn't seen it sitting next right. to me. So, right. like, seeing their reaction to it, yeah. you know what I mean, it was, it was classic. It was priceless. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he tore that dude's head off. <laughs> it was that man that dummy head. Oh, yeah, it was a little baby head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was like the, with the goatee. <laughs> or the fucking... Yeah, yeah. yeah this fool yeah. man yeah. shoot. <laughs> <laughs> like, what he yelled it for like a minute. Like a solid minute. Yo, I think no, I think most of the budget went on that dude. Because that yeah. dude, like, he was a really good actor. Like, yeah, yeah, they actually yeah, had a the Chinese like a, guy. The yeah, Asian yeah, he, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looked like he was probably, like all the budget was probably sent. <laughs> was yeah. like going back and forth to China for those two scenes. Yeah, yeah. He was. Uh, let me see. Who was he? He was. Uh, oh man, I had him right here. Go to Yang Yun Ching. Right. You know, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> right. He's oh, some yeah. dude. Oh, the way of the black. He's who is that guy? Yeah. So the only thing I will say is he must have been a really shitty priest because he was like, at the end of the movie, he was like, this is the best. I'm, yeah, I finally found what I'm the best at or whatever. He's like, this is the best thing I'm doing. And he's like been doing it for two days. <laughs> <laughs> he was a priest for all these years. And he's just like, eh, eh, what better yeah. raptor than I am a priest? I'm good. What better fighting at fighting ninjas? It was weird to me that the girl 
also became like a karate ninja fighter. Yeah, like like all of a sudden. Did you see that one scene where he he was like hit, and then she was just in the background, just like doing oh, yeah. like Mortal pose, Kombat yeah. stance. Yeah. Yeah. And, and she had the tight black suit on now, and yeah. she had like That's the tiger thing. Like, <laughs> no she was like, I was ready for somebody to go fight. <laughs> it is her. Which I'm yeah. honestly surprised yeah, that that sir. didn't happen at, at some point. <laughs> so, no, it was great. It was great. I, I, all in all, like I said, four out of five. If I had seen a titty. Yeah, the titty would have made it a five. I gave it I gave it a 4.5. Well, so there's Alan's movie review of the Velocipaster. Velocipaster. All right, we'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back with a, a little bit more. Or more than that, Black Link Collective Podcast. <laughs> Welcome back to the Black Link Collective Podcast. We would love to thank Alan for his uh, excellent movie review of Veloc- the Velocipaster. And if anybody knows, we should talk to Craig and uh, David and see Craig. if they know anybody who was in it. Remember the guys from... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We see if they know anybody who was in it. We can't try to get them on the show because honestly, just like the Mario Man People's thing, I would love to have one of those guys on the show. Maybe we could put them two together, right? And they can create Velocipast two. Velocipast, Velocip Peoples. <laughs> it's Velocipast, except it's Mario Man Peoples as the Velocity. He turns into the rap. <laughs> he would love it. I mean, like, Velocipast, like, a scathing look at uh, underground of the Catholic Church. Velocity choir. choir of Velocity people. The whole team, yeah. <laughs> no, this is, yeah, it's like a Velocity bishop. Yeah. Lots of bishops. And then uh, Velocity Velocity Pastor 3, Velocity Congregation. Oh, hey, hey, we're joined by our old friend. I will hold on one second, uh, Satan. Where the hell did you come from? Hold on one second because I have one more idea. A lot of pastor that would be really good. What if it was about a guy who owned like a Mexican taqueria and it was Velasa Pastor? <laughs> Velasa Pastor. <laughs> yeah, so it's just about this guy. He's like a Velociraptor making fucking tacos all day. <laughs> I would watch that. My hands are too small. I have too many yeah, orders. Like, I got enough fingers. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Too small. <laughs> We could actually probably do it. Two minute titles. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we know a guy. Well, you guys know. Well, uh, I'm pretty actually, sure you, you got a bunch I of guys. know a guy who's got a taco truck in Oklahoma. <laughs> uh, that's true. <laughs> true. You do know a guy. Get all yeah. the tacos you want. Satan, uh, you have barged your way onto our show, which is great. Yes. Again. Again, okay. as usual. Well, you yeah. can't really turn down the Lord of Darkness. Friend. No, you it's can't. Rude. No, you can't. It's rude when he just shows up and you're like, you can't be like, get out of here. Yeah. When you've done, you know, you've had your moments. Yes. But uh, so, so why are you here? Well, I'm here to promote something. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I can't promote it. <laughs> you can't promote it. You can't promote it. No, I thought about it, and it won't be appropriate for this show. It won't. Oh. What? What? Satan. You're literally Satan. You don't want to. Do that. I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> do it and we'll mute it. We'll. we'll... All right. If you, okay. If you want to hear what Satan has to promote, you have to give us money on Patreon. Yes. You give us money on Patreon, and I'll we'll promote send it, it. We'll send you the answer. And uh, we'll send you. Yes. We're gonna beat it out. So go ahead, and, yeah. Satan. Go ahead and do it. And we'll oh, okay. Beep it out. Well, what, you, you promise you're gonna beat it out. We're not gonna beep it out. Yeah. We. Oh yeah. We'll, we'll totally beep it out. Well, I'm promoting <laughs> anal sex. Oh. Oh, I should have given you a Oh, okay, wait, Satan. You can do this again. Okay, so Satan. You hit the bank. Oh, what are you here to promote? I am here to promote anal sex. Do you know, thing. In the so, butt. Yeah, we got that part. So, well, good to know. So, yes. what? I don't really know that I want to take it any further. Is yeah, it like, coming up? Is something? it the Anal Sex Council? So, yeah, no, no. Uh, February know? is Anal Sex Month. Oh, oh is month. it? Wait, no. Wait. No, that's Black have, History Month. You can't have Black History Month. Uh, yeah, that's okay, so we'll do it on March. We've been screwed enough. 
No, I didn't well, actually, then it, it fixed the bill, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm funny sometimes. Okay, say, <laughs> yeah. no. All right, Fred. Yeah. Time. Four. Give it to him. Give it to him, Fred. Give it to him. This is your it's revenge. It's time for Alan's no, Freaky Facts. Satan's Freaky Facts. Satan's Freaky Facts. All right, I got some freaky facts for you. Yeah! Give it to me, Satan. Do you know? It's so freaky. Go, Satan. Go, Freddy. Go, Freddy. Go, Freddy. Go, Freddy. He's looking at me. I guarantee you Satan's Googling freaky facts right now. Oh, yes. I am Googling <laughs> freaky facts right no, now. No, not on the internet. Oh, yeah. you're just, you're I hate the internet. <laughs> Come on, man. All right. You're killing you the know. internet. Okay. Freaky fact number one. <laughs> Freaky fact number two. <laughs> Fred's face was so funny because he was like, we were expecting yeah, what are you going to say? Yeah. What are you going to say? <laughs> the Freaky Facts number one. January is donut month. Yes. Fred, did you See? expect the Lord of Darkness got- to come up with a donut pack? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's hard to come up on it's the spot with think. a we fact about that. and for about it to be freaky. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got a couple of freaky facts. All right, let's hear one more. Okay. At least one more, Satan. All right, uh, freaky fact number two. Nope. Jackie Robinson played baseball. <laughs> Okay. Remember that, Fred? It's so freaky. It's not as freaky as I expected it to be. Uh, well, hey, anyway, hey, 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 hey. season greens from right. my family to yours. <laughs> I like that Satan's like by now. Every time he's like, season greetings. Yeah. It's donut season, Fred. It's donut season. <laughs> The man in January, get your free donut from Krispy Kremes. Don't be as a bull, sent you. <laughs> All right. We'll see you later, Satan. All right. Bye-bye now. Let me All see right. if hey, I can you get Alan to come back. Do you know back. anything about that building I got trapped in? Oh. Well, so some actually, your friends I there? do. <laughs> I do. Is that like your yeah. summer home? That was actually uh, one of the houses I used to own in uh, 1962. Uh, Makes sense to me. Yeah, I used to live there in 1962. You know, I used to party all the time, you know, with all the rockers and stuff. And, uh, you used to hang out with Rick James, didn't you? Yeah, Rick James. And, uh, and, and in the 80s, I had that house. And some guy showed up looking for the golden child. And, <laughs> <laughs> and he kicked our ass and stuff. And I can't remember what his name He said he wanted the knife. Please. I I I I I was a nice. <laughs> right, I'm back with my freaky fact. Oh I'm yeah, then what happened to you, man? Uh, I had to leave for a minute, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Fred, did you know that rabbits can't get sick? Really? That's a fr- that's, that's a, a freaky fact. Due to, their, due to their diet and digestive systems, rabbits oh. physically can't get sick. Is that why they test all those chemicals on them and stuff? Yeah. I guess so. You know what other thing rabbits do a lot? <laughs> in the butt. In the butt. Yes. Butt? I guess they have a butt. Yes, they do. They promote anal sex. Rabbit butt. Fred, did, did you know? Did we, I'll give you one more freaky fact. Parker's freaky facts. Fred, the apple pie was not invented in America. Really? What now? So I'd say you probably had a hand in this. It was invented in England. Yes, it was. <laughs> Sherry. And then I made it American apple pie. And you motherfuckers believed all of it. <laughs> <laughs> they ate that shit up, didn't they? <laughs> yes, they did. Suckers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I don't know what I missed, but I'm, I'm wondering. Did, I thought he was leaving. He didn't leave. Me. Oh no, I'm not leaving you at all. When you start talking about apple pie, you know I like that pie. You know that. Never mind. Hey, do you like it, Alakamode? Oh God. 
All right, I got. We got to end this fucking day. That's a freaky fact. That was not a freaky fact. That was a gross. Again, these ingredients from my family to yours. Okay, bye bye, team. Oh my goodness. Eat it with in the toilet. I know. Okay, well, I thought it had a cookie on it. Hey guys, I thought it was apple pie with a piece of cookie on it. Alamo. That was like ice cream on it, right? <laughs> Alamode is ice cream on top. Yeah, ice cream. Alamode was a poopy on top. Uh, Ooh, yeah, yeah. It's, that's why Cleveland you add steamer. Ultimacy. Yeah, there you exactly. go. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I realized something. A Betty Crap. That's Cincinnati, isn't it? Yeah, I had a Skyline Chili the other day. I got some Skyline Chili. Yeah. Skyline Chili, Fred, the famous chili place in Cincinnati. How'd you get it? It, it was frozen. You can get it at oh. stores. Oh, really? it was fine. Yeah, yeah. Frozen chili. Well, I I heated it up and made it unfrozen before I <laughs> ate it. Yeah. I mean, and it wasn't frozen when I ate it. it yeah, chili, chili. chili. <laughs> but it was like I, I totally see. I was thinking Cleveland steamer, and I was like, yeah, it was a Cincinnati steamer because it was <laughs> immediately. I was like, yeah, I see, I see what happened. That's probably what made you go to the bathroom in that damn It is, house. and that's what got haunted. I got haunted by the- <laughs> Jack Burrow disease. Yes. <laughs> Joe Burrow disease. Yeah, Joe Burrow. I said Jack. I, don't know. I, said I thought Jack it was a Jack Burrow disease. So yeah. We can't win. I'll have the seven beers. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We're off the rails here. Paint me one of like you and your French girls, Jack. <laughs> hey, Governor. Can you take me to one of your girls, Governor? Oh, I need to shut up. Shut up. <laughs> so all right, Fred, well, do you have anything else for this week? Uh, or do you want to tell the people yeah. anything? Uh go, go Jaguars. Jaguars. Go Jags. No, Actually, did, yeah, did you guys watch that game? Phil is gonna I win watched, the Super Bowl. Okay, I watched the beginning of it. Not a was sports like, podcast. This shit is over. Like, yeah, no, I this did. is I like watched- it's the end of the show. It's fine. I watched the beginning when he threw his third pick. I was like, "Yeah, this is probably over." Yeah. But then I was like, "So I was like, I'm gonna go to bed." But I was, you know, right before I went to bed, I was knowing my luck. I was like, "Knowing my luck, they'll come back. Yeah. If they do, that's awesome." Right. And I woke up, yeah, the next morning, and I was like, "Well, shit." Yeah. No. And like I was waiting for it too. I was just like, they had one drive where they, you know, they went down there and scored. I was like, "Oh, oh, here it is." Yeah. Here it, we go. It's yeah. About to, yeah. It's about to start. You know what I mean? That Tom Brady Man, miracle. Man. You know what I mean? Yep. But no. Yep. Didn't pull it off. No, the Tom, Tom Brady didn't do it. That's for sure. I hope no, he, he retires, Tom. man. I hope he does, too. Yeah, I, hope I he passed does. out and I woke well, up right no, at the end. I don't hope he retires oh. because they they said they're going to give him a job as an analyst. So I got to see Yeah, he's him got like a 10-year contract for, as an analyst. Yeah, already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, before. Well, I mean. Didn't that be as a say it was the analyst or something? <laughs> I think I might have been out for that one. <laughs> But all right, well, <laughs> you show the analyst. analyst. <laughs> Starting Tom Brady. No. <laughs> when are you gonna put the you ball know, in the hole? In the you, see, you see, he's got that new movie too, Eighty for Brady. Yeah, yeah. What about those old that? women? He's gonna yeah. start banging those old women in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be fucking Lily Tomlin in the ass. Oh come on! Okay, I didn't even go that far. Stop, stop. All right, we're gonna it's get funny out of as here. shit, but I didn't go that low. <laughs> we should have, yeah, I don't know. We should have gone before, but Take yes, I won't. Are you gonna watch 80 for Brady, Fred? I think you should. I'm not. My mom's gonna watch it. Is your mom really gonna watch it? Yeah, she is. Okay, well, I'm gonna watch it. I think it's gonna be funny, especially the part yeah. where never mind. <laughs> no, <Nope. All right. laughs> we're gonna get out of here, everybody. <laughs> Good night, Fred and Alan. Say good night to people. All right. (laughs) We'll see you later. Thomas. See if we can get Tom Brady on the show to talk about having anal sex with Lily Tomlin. (laughs) He's like, MVP. Yeah. (laughs) I don't know. Bl, I don't know. BL, I still don't have any of those. I got to, I got to learn one of them. I got to get one of the things. Yeah, you do got to get you a BL. I'll see you soon. Not works. good enough. Good night, everybody. Good night. Lonely time, anal sex. <laughs>